Oh guys, but you boy Tommy here. Okay, customization. Hopefully you guys will have seen Arcus's Vlog on the new game mode. And um you'll have seen the, the placeholder models he's got in there as well. Um but what you wouldn't have seen is the fact that uh, Arcus has give you the option to customize the whole game mode um to your your satisfaction. So basically that's what I'll show you today. Um all the models I've modelled them myself, um, apart from a couple which I haven't touched because I like the effects of them. But um, it's quite effective, and obviously you guys will have great fun. So this here, the dwarf, my dwarven shopkeeper, is my energy capacitor. Okay, so obviously I buy energy off the dwarven shopkeeper, and that's the solar panel. Now. I've left this with a proper model because it actually opens when the when the sun comes out and closes when it gets dark. So I'll use that in my game mode for myself as uh, an indication that the shop is either open or the shop is closed. So let's have a look. So there you go, sun's coming out and your solar, solar capture device is opening up and it'll start charging when the sun. So that tells me when I see that open, shop is open, I'm allowed to go to the shopkeeper and take uh, energy from him. Okay, so that just adds a few rules so you can, you can you know, muck about with the rules of the game and things like that. Add your own. Okay, and then when the sun goes in, it closes up. So that tells me shop is closed, I'm not allowed to go to the shopkeeper. So you can, you can have fun with that and obviously you can get your energy off the shopkeeper when it's open. Um, that is one of the wasps, so that I've changed it into a ghost. Okay, should see it a little bit more. There it is. Obviously, with his with his blast and the harvesters, which are the slimers, um, I've got wasps after us now. And this one absolutely cocks up. Watch him. <laughs> He's just buggered off. <laughs> He's stuck. <laughs> He's gone on the ground. What a dipstick. Anyway, so let's blast a few more things and um, we'll see if we can get some more wasps. As you can see, um, I've changed the cogs that the, the harvesters drop when you when you blast them um, to money boxes. So they're full of gold and silver. So that's my currency to give to the uh, shopkeeper to buy me energy and uh, buy me upgrades once your upgrades are in the game. So as you can see the, the game mode at the moment is very basic and um, all we're doing is play testing at the moment to see you know see how the balancing is. Um, so we need to balance it out a lot um, to get the wasps coming after our quicker things like that. But uh, it works absolutely spot on. So I blasted a few. You can see me threat levels. Um, it's just gone over five. Now generally, when it gets over five, you start getting a bit of a bit of it. Oh, there they are. So I've got, I've got the enemies after us now. So I'm going to bugger off and just outrun them for now. The hood's placeholder at the moment, but it gives you all the information. Now on the the bottom left. Um, the little red dot there is me health, so I'm looking a bit sad. Um, the one, the blue line below, oh, I'm getting chased again. Now, do I stand and fight or do I run? Um, I think I'll I'll run because I'm an I bugger it. I'll I'll blast them. But obviously, blasting wasps can send more wasps after you. So you've got your shield on the bottom, of the blue. There we go. Now. Go on, you. Um, middle bar is your experience. Um, the light blue bar on the right is your power for your gun, so you need to recharge that. I'll do that in a moment. Um, just get rid of some of some of these wasps. You've got your your metal. How much metal you've got? Like uh, left middle, and your threat indicator top right. Here. So we've 
blasted the crap out of them wasps that's chasing us. So what I'll do here is I'll recharge my gun. So I'm pressing B, you can see the line charging. There you go, the gun's now charged and that will bugger off and kill some more stuff. And I could do that because my shop was open because it's daylight. So let's blast a few more things. Let's have a quick look through the form, see if we can get anything in there. Now, any of you guys that's been to the Dwarven world, this is the Dwarven world in the test build, but you know the size of it. These things are all over it. So it's not a case of these things are like around you. These are all over this world. Um, and they're persistent as well. So that is absolutely spot on. Let's get a couple more out here. Obviously I've edited this video down but I went right round. This is by the town. Um, on the way to the Dark Wizards Tower. There's another one there. So that literally crawling all over the place. So you've got to hunt them down. to you get your resources. Um, and fallen kills you. So you've got to be careful. Nice death animation there. But uh, obviously I fell. My shield wasn't strong enough to protect us. Dead. And in I come again, and ho, oh, have it. There you go. Now what I'll do, as you can see, my shield's right down, so it's daylight. As far as I'm concerned, my shop's open, so I'll recharge my shield. So I'm pressing B, my gun's recharged, my shield's recharging quick. And there you go. Now later on you can get a health station, but I haven't placed that yet. But I'll give you more, I'll bring more videos. But uh, there you go, thanks for watching. You keep smiling now. Bye.